guys, it's Emma. So uh, this week I went and saw Jason Mraz at the Rhineman Auditorium in Nashville on September 10th, 2014, if we wanna be all official about it. So me and my friend get there and I love the Rhineman. I think it's really cool how they have like bench seats. You know how you go to an arena or I guess a smaller theater and you have individual seats, whereas like each row is its own individual bench, which was so cool. And so like you're sitting next to the person, but you're like, next to them next to them which is weird but kind of cool uh, i thought that was awesome and um so it's about eight o'clock when the show starts and we're just kind of chilling expecting you know artists usually come on like 10 minutes late right and so we're looking and we hear cheers and we're like oh i guess the opener is coming on and jason raz is just like casually walking on stage and he's like hey everybody how's it going and we're just like um what what is even going on? He's just walking on. He's like, so um, I'll be out in a few minutes and uh, my friends Rain and Jane are gonna do a few songs for you. And we're like, okay, awesome, Jason. That was really weird, but cool. It was really awesome. So he just like left and Rain and Jane came on stage and they were incredible. So they played like three or four songs and that was just, oh, they're so good, so good. And they start one song and we're like, oh, we kind of recognize this song. And then they're like, please welcome our friend Jason Mraz. And they just go straight into Jason Mraz. And the curtain behind them rises and he's on his guitar jamming. And it, oh, it was amazing. So his album is called Yes. I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. I didn't listen to it before coming to the concert, which was a really poor decision on my part. I probably should have <laughs> listened because now it's all I listen to. And for the past 48 hours, all I've been listening to, it is so good. This album cover, it's all white and it has a circle and inside the blue, it's like a blue circle and there's a big oceanscape on it. And so that was cool because that kind of became his background for the entire stage show is it had a big white circle and then the screen on the inside. And so the rest kind of relied on the lighting and whatever was in that screen. Really simple and it allowed everything to focus on the music and like focus on all the people playing rather than worry about lights and smoke and all those kinds of things. But Raining Jane stayed on and was his band for the rest of the show. Keep in mind this show was two hours and 45 minutes. Might as well just be three hours because we weren't out of there till 11. The lighting and setup really allowed them to focus on how many instruments these girls were playing. They were changing out instruments left and right. There was like a cajon and then she would be on the drums and this one girl was playing the cello and then she'd be playing ukulele. And then this girl had like eight different guitars and was playing the glockenspiel if you know what that is. And she was playing piano and this girl was playing a double bass and then she was playing the bass, the double bass, and then she was playing a sitar. And if you know what that is, I will, I will show you the clip right now. <laughs> Sitar, casually sitting there you know I can't describe how much I love this concert uh, it really gave me a new appreciation for how important the instruments and how the instruments can add value to the sound of a song and really make it unique because I mean you can have your basic band of a bass guitar a guitar a singer and drums and maybe um, keys but just like bringing a variety of instruments really allows the concert to reach so many different levels. And the ability that these four girls had to play so many different instruments made the dynamic level change constantly per song. It was awesome. song that I become obsessed with post-concert, it's kind of a thing I guess, is a song Quiet by him and it's on his new album and he played it where he had everyone kind of step away from the instruments and he had the three girls sing and him playing guitar. I don't know, it was such a good message in that song. He made a joke about it but then it kind of made it serious how the song's about being quiet and being still and being in the moment and he kind of made the whole audience just be quiet and shock and awe. 
concerts kind of take you to another place and I definitely think that this show did that. This show blew my mind. It was not what I expected. I knew I was going to be impressed and I knew I was going to be really excited about it and love all the music but I didn't expect me to take it as far as it did. It's crazy to think of like the wide range of music that he has because he's been around for so long in the age range that he there were kids who were seven and then some old lady screaming and she was 77. This concert really displayed the power of music and how true talent and just the ability to play instruments well and design songs that are so well structured, like the variety of music and instruments that bring so many different colors to the song and how that can still be appreciated even though we have music today that's completely electronic which is still great but it, it's awesome that we're able to have music that's acoustic and true to the instruments and then taken to a whole new level with like 21st century technology and that those can still stand together and still both be successful. If he's still on tour and he's coming in town, I highly recommend you see it. It was great. I loved it. It was more than I expected. I love sharing these experiences with y'all. And if y'all enjoyed this video and hope for more to come, hit the like button down below. If you really, really super like it, love to have you with us and hit subscribe. I like how I did a thumbs up for like when I want you to hit subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Peace. Somebody, whoa, yeah, so